Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis Van Kampen and in this video tutorial series we will discuss SAP HANA system administration. In this video we will look into multi-tenant database container conversion. In a previous video we discussed the architecture and concepts of multi-tenant database containers. If you're not familiar with this topic, please take a look at this video. You can activate the multiple container mode for SAP HANA either during installation or at some later time using the command line tool HTB NSUtil. There is a tutorial video about installing SAP HANA Server SPS09, support package stack 09, where you can see how multi-tenancy is activated. So I won't cover it here. What we will do instead is take a regular SAP HANA installation and perform the conversion to the multiple container mode. Now, important, converting an SAP HANA system to a multiple container system is permanent, it cannot be reversed. The prerequisites are that your system needs to be revision 90 or higher, SPS 09 that is, and that the statistics server is not running as a separate server process. You need to have configured it as an embedded service in the master index service. By default for SPS 09 this will not be the case, so you are likely to have to perform this step. There is a note about this, SAP note 1917938 that describes what you need to do and the topic is also covered in a tutorial video on the SAP HANA Academy. So check it out in case you are not familiar with this topic. Good. When the multiple container mode is activated at install time using the HDB LCM tool, the SAP HANA database platform lifecycle management tool, only the system database is created. Any tenant databases are created later by the administrator, either manually or by running some SQL script as part of an automated installation procedure post setup, I imagine. However, when you convert an SAP HANA system, we get both the system database and one tenant database. And this tenant database will contain all the data of the original system, including users, system configuration, and so on. When you think about it, this makes sense. These are the steps. First, we're going to stop HANA, connect this to the operating system user, that is SID ADM, then do an HTTP stop, then we're going to convert the system from a single container system to a multiple container system with the command HDB NSUtil dash convert to MultiDB. Next, we're going to set the password for the system user of the system database. We do that with the HDB name server and then dash reset user system. Then we'll start the system database, HDB start, and when it's up, we can connect to this database with HDB SQL and start the tenant database. Here we see the uh, SQL command, it's alter system, start database, and then the database name. Now the database name will be the SID of the original system, because as you've seen we're not prompted to change it anywhere. Since it's the first time you're logging onto the system database, you may be required to change the password we've just set. This depends of course on how the password policy was configured. The default password policy requires a password change the first time a user logs on. And you can do this by executing the SQL statement, alter user system password, and then the password. Okay, then there's some post configuration tasks, very important. You always need to perform a full backup of the system after you've done the conversion, otherwise you won't be able to do any recovery. And then optionally, you can create and configure any additional tenant database. And we'll look into this in another video. Okay. Let's do it. I'm connected here to a Windows computer and have started HANA Studio. We have a connection here to our instance DMO and I've created a user called Demo. So we will see that this DMO system will be converted to a tenant database once we're done. So I will minimize Studio and here we have a PuTTY, a terminal server session connected to the HANA server. We're connected as the DMO ADM user, the SID ADM user, the operating system user. And we're going to stop HANA first. So I'm going to execute the command HTTP stop. And we'll do a fast forward after stopping. So it stopped. Now we're going to perform the conversion. HTTP NSUtil dash convert to multi DB. 
Now here you'll see what will happen if you have not performed the statistics server upgrade. You get the message found statistics server in topology and a prerequisite for MultiDB mode is the removal of the statistics server. So we need to do that first. So we'll start HANA up again. HANA's up. Turn to HANA Studio. Open the administration console. Configuration. Name server dot ini section statistics server. Default is false. We're going to set the value to true and save it. After we set it to true, the data hell in the persistence of the statistics server is now transferred to the persistence of the master index server. And so if you have a lot of data uh, already recorded, this will take a while. And then at the end of the migration, the statistics server is automatically stopped and removed from the database configuration topology. The migration is completed when there is no statistics server process running. It's not necessary to restart the HANA instance or anything like that. So let's refresh it again. We see that our statistics server process is now gone. So we're good to go. Minimize this one again. Go back to our terminal session. Run our HTTP stop. And I stopped. Then we're going to perform the conversion with the command HTTP energy tool dash convert to MultiDB. At this stage, the parameter MultiDB mode will be set in the global.ini file. The system database will be created and the current database will be converted to a tenant database. Now, I did not forward this part of the video. It actually goes very fast. And as you can see, the database DMO is converted into a tenant database and can be started by the alter system start database and then the database name DMO command. That's a SQL command. You run it from the HTTP SQL command line tool or otherwise inside HANA Studio. The system database has been created, but of course we have no idea what the password is. We haven't set it. So we're going to do this with the HTTP name server command dash reset user system. As you can see, the name server is started. All the other services are set to inactive. And then we get prompted to reset the user system and a new password. I will just set it to initial one. We can always change it later. And this will shut down HANA back again. So now we can start HANA, the system database that is. It should be start. Note that we're still connected as DMO ADM. And so the SID of HANA has not changed. The SID is still DMO, but the previous master database has now been converted to a tenant database and has the same database name. There's no issue with that. Okay, HANA is up and running. We can now start the tenant database. I'm going to do this on the command line. You could use HANA Studio as well. It doesn't matter. So HTTP SQL backslash C for connect. And then it's dash I for the instance number, 02 in our case, dash U for the user system, and dash D for the database system DB. As expected, we get prompted to reset the system password. And now we're connected to the instance DMO system database. So now we can start the tenant database, alter system start database, database name. You only have to do this once. And from now on, the HANA instance start tenant databases as well. Let's return to HANA Studio. I will remove our single container entry and create two new ones. Host name, instance number, multiple containers system database. So here we have our system database connection. And if we take a look at the configuration for the global INI, we can see that the mode parameter in section MultiDB has been set to MultiDB. It defaults to single DB, of course. If we check our security users, there is no demo user, as expected. And then if we add a system, multiple container, and then the tenant database container, DMO, So here we have our tenant system. And if we open security users, we see that we have our database demo user in the tenant. So the original database has been migrated. Converting to multi-tenant mode is documented in the SAP HANA administration guide. You can read or download this guide free of charge from the SAP help portal on help.sap.com. Thank you for watching this SAP HANA Academy video.